Hi my friends, today we model and uh, study with uh, dynamic simulation this uh, interesting counter mechanism. You see here all the components. Let's start. New standard millimeters IAM place first is the plate double click place grounded at origin and you see that it is presented in other position I want to have this position I select this corner of the navigating cube and right click set current view as home fit to view now you know what happens when I click on uh, home I see this uh, presentation then we place the other components come double click escape space to repeat uh, place component to repeat the previous tool double star escape space pin one two space shaft central this is the shaft central and shaft star okay now I want to see all of them as uh, shaded with edges good we place component in position how can we do this? By using uh, constraint tool. Insert. Select this and place it here. Apply. Then also insert to place the cam. Apply. Then we place this circle oh, 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 here, but aligned. You see? Apply. Also aligned for this one. Then apply this must be here but not aligned opposed apply and here comes the double star okay these are uh, with interference so we rotate the cam to be placed in position we can rotate uh, both uh, objects independently but we want to have that uh, collision we can do this only by using dynamic simulation environments dynamic simulation now you see the converted uh, constraints with two standard joints revolution for the double star revolution for the cam we can apply movement to one of them 
and we use uh, specific uh, tools to the collision. I double click here and I see that I have only degree of freedom rotation. I select imposed motion, I enable the imposed motion and I select constant value. For instance 120 degrees per second. Okay, let's see what happens. In one second the cam must be rotated a third of a full circle. That's right. We go back and we change with the number of seconds with uh, say 10 seconds. No, 10, 5 seconds. Okay, you see the calculated data stops here at one second. We have to start run to obtain the other movement from one second to five seconds. Inventor has in its memory only uh, this one second. We add the other and we obtain the other rotation. Five seconds. If I go back and I run again, Inventor knows all the data and it works from start to end. I go back and I look for I use construction mode I look for possibility to collide one object with another object. I click here to hide the, the arrows. Collisions can be highlighted by using this tool, insert point. We don't use spatial, we don't use 3D contact, but we use 2D contact. And now we select this face which contains a close contour and also now I go here it was selected this edge now I select this face with another edge good apply cancel click here to hide the, the arrows and this is the start position start you see this uh, half of the double star is in connection with the cam good we go back and now we want to use uh, the contact with these two pins yes construction mode eliminated I uh, develop this uh, object in the browser and I add another pair of uh, 2D contact close contours. I 
select this contour and this contour now the problem is that this arrow is oriented to the inside of the circle not to outside of the circle this is an important and fine problem apply cancel and now <laughs> for you I try to run look what happens impossible to solve the system check the definition of joint 2d contact 4 number 4 this is number 4 you see here welded group 2 welded group 1 normal orientation you see it uh, uh, present a, a, a suggestion okay what to find here I double click to the contact 4 and I have this or I apply right click and properties it is the same then we take a look here that we want to uh, flip this uh, arrow yes this is what we do what was the first selection the circle what was the second selection the contour of the double star I use this one click on this you see we have this to outside not to inside this is a problem presented by me in the tutorial number 045 and you can take a look there there is a bonus in that uh, tutorial okay click here to hide the arrows and we try to see what happens but we don't start run we can use a manual possibility to make all the simulation I click here and I rotate you see everything is in position and good to be used but this is not selected yet let's see this is not good I go back but in construction mode I rotate this a little to be placed in a good position now start you see okay and now you see that this pin goes through this what is the conclusion we have to apply also insert joint tool to solve the problem with this other close contour yes this is what I do I go here stop this is blocked not functioning go back disable construction mode and now I have access here to do what to add a new joint but firstly I want to rotate this to be in a proper position with the pin up outside as it is now okay insert joint I select this circle and this face 
they are coplanar in our uh, interpretation. Apply. Cancel. Assembly. And I place this. So. Start. Impossible to solve the system. Why, my friends? You know. Because this contact has uh, an inside arrow, not an outside arrow. Double click here and change, flip the arrow to be outside of the circle. Okay. Start and you see what happens. back and again very very good now comes an interesting topic what I present here is based on the existence of the components that appear in the assembly. Regarding this modeling, you have two options. One, to contemplate what I do and apply my actions by creating your own components of this assembly. And two, try to create the assembly using the actual components you see in the tutorial. If you want to create this assembly independently, you must own the component, that is, uh, they must be yours. As separate creations that I made for the purpose of showing practical aspects in the tutorial, you can download the components only from assets. Access to assets is done by subscribing minimum to the level journeyman membership. You see here the levels of membership. Core, journeyman, patron, professional. Excepting core, the other ones includes the previous ones. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.